Cody Stark live from the California State Railroad Museum with a little look see inside. Good morning. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is this is one of the craziest stories. You know, the Wild West was wild. It's full of stories. But this one, I think, takes the cake, uh, Ty. This is like, this is such a weird thing. This Death Valley Scotty's Race for Glory, the number one, who was Death Valley Scotty? Well, De Death Valley Scotty was a lot of things. He called himself a miner. Uh -huh. And of course, many people have gone to Scotty's Castle in Death Valley. Okay, okay. And called himself a miner, but. Uh, nobody ever saw him with any gold, uh, <laughs> you know. So he, he was kind of a self promoter and, okay. and maybe a little bit of a con artist. Oh, okay, a flim flam man, yeah, if you will, yeah. if you will, uh, right. if you will. Right. Okay, so the story is, and we're, we're not sure if this is completely true, that he went to the uh, Santa Fe folks and said, "I want to get to Chicago. How fast? Yeah, well, how much? Well, the, the West is Im imbued with mythology, right? Uh -huh. and, so, and, and so this is part of it. But the the story that they told was that." Uh, Death Valley Scotty walked into the Santa Fe office and he wanted to go to Chicago and he wanted to beat the land speed record. And the executive at Santa Fe said, young fella, there's no way we can do it. There's no way. That's uh, impossible. And, and as the story goes, he started peeling off $1,000 bills and $5,500 later, the money was in the safe <laughs> and Santa Fe had committed to making the run. Isn't that amazing? You got enough money, it suddenly becomes possible. Sure, right. Okay, let's walk around this way because we want to see. Now, this was one of the actual locomotives that helped yeah. do the record. Right? This is the Santa Fe 1010. And so part of the story is about promoting the West, but the other part of the story is actually beating the land speed record. And it was regular equipment. It was stuff that they ran all the time and regular engineers, you know, the, the, the men who would uh, take this equipment and run it across the United States. But they pushed the limits of the equipment and they pushed the limits of their own abilities to break that land speed record. Okay, so they broke the record, but when they would switch locomotives, yeah. how much time in between? Well, it varied, but this, this is the Santa Fe 1010, and this is the, the piece of equipment that they used to go from Needles to Seligman, Arizona. That was the leg of the run. Okay. And in that transition, 80 seconds. They pull up, they uncouple, they bring this locomotive in, couple it and take off 80 seconds. That's crazy. That's like a NASCAR pit crew. Okay, so this set the record. What was the what was the record speed? Under under 45 hours. Under 45 hours and that record stayed for how long? Well, until the 1930s, until 1937. And then that that Santa Fe right was there? one of the pieces of equipment that um, that beat it. And so another part of the story that we're telling is the story of Santa Fe speed and the way in which these these railroad companies connected the United States in ways that it had never been connected before, offering speed and offering comfort in getting people from the east to the west. How about that? That's a cool story. Thanks for having us out this morning. Appreciate it. Come out here and see this. It is truly amazing. And I think we just hit the very, just the very edge of this whole story. Back to you guys in the studio there. Right on. Awesome. Thanks, Code. We're putting our pickies up for.